Hello, everybody. So a lot of the votes I kind of have opinions on, and I want to give my opinions on them. <laughs> so a lot of people do this. If you haven't seen the Sebe cast or King Condor, you are really missing out. But I've got a few things to say about the upcoming polls. But let's start talking about it. Should we change the behavior of keys to remove resource competition for woodcutting? Absolutely. That's probably one of the smartest things that's come out of Jagex recently. Should players chopping the same tree receive an invisible bonus to woodcutting? This would be limited up to 10 players. It's kind of a big limit too. Possibly just up to 5 players if we were going to start limiting things. Should we introduce the forestry kit? A wearable backslot item that would hold all materials needed for forestry? Yes. You should put a tool belt in your game. For fuck's sake, there needs to be a tool belt for damn near everything. This is long past needed, and to be honest, not only do I not agree with you if you say OSRS doesn't need a tool belt, I adamantly don't agree with you and I would gladly argue with you for an hour over it. Should we introduce clothes pouches? An object that will store the lumberjack outfit pieces within and allow you to gain the bonuses whilst wearing other items. The bonuses from the closed pouch will prioritize over any other effect. Yes, this should be included in the game too, but don't disguise it as just forestry or woodcutting stuff. I should be able to wear my skilling outfit and look fly as hell in my fashionscape. There's no reason anyone should vote no to this. Unless you know you hate people having fun. Should we introduce the forester's ration, a new item that, that when consumed restores run energy after chopping down a tree? This item will also increase the bonus received if consumed at a campfire. I'm gonna say yes, but this needs a lot of tweaking. Cutting a tree, why do I give a shit about the run energy? But I mean, if that's gonna be a random bonus that you attribute to it, then cool. Don't market it as the first thing though. Your bonus to wood cutting should happen if you eat this item. And at a campfire makes sense. At the very least, it might be a strange one of those works in runescape where it's like don't eat your damn ration if you didn't light a campfire i can't go to god wars if i don't have a hammer that's the kind of stuff that maybe shouldn't be in the game because it makes sense with that high-pitched voice but like <laughs> it's kind of going to be a pain in the ass so i'm going to vote yes but that should be rethought of should we introduce the Secutor's Attachment, a new consumable item for the forestry kit that helps you gather more leaves? Yes, be able to use your Secutor's when you're not wielding them, and yes, put them in your tool belt. Not the forestry kit, a tool belt that holds everything. Should we introduce the Nature Offering, a new tradable consumable that allows you to get extra resources when cutting trees? The chance will increase based on the number of other foresters cutting the same tree up to 10. Yeah, I, it seems like that's almost the same thing as an earlier question. Or at the very least, that's combining two other questions. So I already said yes to those, so yes to that again. <laughs> Forestry events, should we introduce them? These will appear while collecting logs in the overworld, and all players can interact with them to gain rewards. Yes. I absolutely do agree with that, but at the same time, forestry events should only be dangerous in dangerous places, like the wilderness or maybe Priftinus, some places that aren't skiller accessible. So if you were going to have a dangerous forestry event, it wouldn't spawn around skillers, or at the very least, it wouldn't be necessary for skillers to interact with it. Should we expand the systems behind gathering leaves? This will include more varieties of leaves, give each leaf type a unique bonus that contributes towards campfires and tea brewing, and makes all leaves tradable on the Grand Exchange. Yes, dude. Why wouldn't you do that? That should be a form of brewing in general needs to be fleshed out, and teas and other things like that just need to be thrown right along with it. And if someone was going to sit down and completely flesh out a brewing system, I might have a video for it. <laughs> Should we explore the idea of campfires? Lighting a fire and adding a number of the same leaves will give a temporary bonus to all players near the campfire, depending on the leaf type. Yeah, this sounds kind of cool, but I'm not sure this 
is in the spirit of wood cutting, I guess. It's not necessarily an AFK thing, and somebody is gonna be required to light those fires, right? And there's probably not gonna be a system in place where it's like, okay, Kevin, it's your turn to light the fires. It's probably just gonna always be Kevin lighting the fire. You know what I mean? So I guess that's cool, but also needs a rework. I want to gain bonuses and other things like that from forestry stuff, but I'm not sure it should be time dependent like a campfire. It might just need to be a consumable. Should iron players benefit from other campfire boosts? Yes. Might be a little controversial when I say that, but if you're going to have a team event, if you're going to have a group activity, why would you make it so a large demographic of your game base cannot utilize it? That's just begging for dead content right out of the goddamn gate. And sure, you can be elitist and be like, oh, screw you, Iron Man, you produce everything yourself. What's a plus two bonus every now and then to wood cutting? Really gonna do ya? And I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a visible boost that lets you get to the next tree. It almost never is. Should we explore the idea of tea brewing? Using the leaves from trees you can create on your own. What the fuck is this wording? Using the leaves from trees. You can create your own teas in a freestyle format in order to create new teas that give you benefits. Damn, they, <laughs> that typo right there really messed me up. Yeah, the brewing needs to be fleshed out and I got a video for you. <laughs> Should we introduce log baskets, a new untradeable wearable reward from forestry that can store up to 28 logs? Yes. But again, we need to stop adding baskets and other kinds of things and just give us a looting bag that's active throughout the entirety of the world. Just give us the second inventory. You know for a damn fact there's way too much shit in the game and you make us remember like six items when we try to do anything. So just give us a fucking backpack, dude. It's kind of beyond the point of being necessary, especially since you want to give us a backpack for every activity we have. There's a coal bag, there's a gem bag, there's a herb sack, there's a log basket, there's a plank sack, there... I could go on and on, honestly. Yes, but just give me a goddamn backpack. Should we introduce the forestry outfit and recolors as a reward from forestry? This would be untradeable cosmetics to override the lumberjack outfit and feature multiple recolors. Heck yeah! Are you kidding me? The forestry outfit needs to be fly. Should we include two-handed axes of different metals as a reward from forestry? This would offer more experience than normal axes while receiving fewer logs. Wait, say that again. This would offer more experience than normal axes while receiving fewer logs. That's gonna be really hard to balance out because let's just say you like you get 10 logs for a thousand experience. Now you have to get five logs for 2000 experience in the same time, but like, Trees are almost RNG dependent, so you couldn't necessarily guarantee that. Even if they changed it, you know what I mean? Trees would be on a timer, and you wouldn't necessarily be able to time the second that you get each one of those logs. I think this is interesting, but it's not gonna work. And what I mean by that is, it'll come out busted as all hell. So yes, we absolutely need that. <laughs> Should we offer the funky shaped log as a reward from forestry? This untradeable item can be given to a beaver to unlock transmog options. Yeah, see, I'm kind of in the opinion where appearance transmogs might not even necessarily need to be pulled. I don't really give a shit if somebody doesn't want me to look cool in my opinion of how I look cool. I should just be able to do that, and that didn't affect that guy literally at all in any way, shape, or form. So, I don't know, transmogs might not even have to be on the list for shit we vote about. That should just be included. Yeah, we should probably just vote on the style of transmog we're gonna get, not about the fact we're gonna get one. Because the fact we're gonna get one shouldn't fucking matter to somebody else. 
Should we include the B-Box as a reward from forestry? An object for your player-owned house that would allow you to keep bees inside your home? I'm actually a beekeeper <laughs> in real life, so that would be really cool for me. So I'm going to selfishly vote yes for that. But, I mean... I can't say it's necessary, but I can't think of a reason to not do it. So, yes. 